Aloha, my name is Mike Tengon here from Prime Fitness to talk a little bit about the difference between aging and getting old. Today we'll be covering different topics concerning what you can do in your everyday life to promote better health and longevity through the course of your lifespan. So, one of the things that I like to think about when I think about this topic in particular is Grandpa. Grandpa had a great phrase when I was a kid and that was, Lucky we live Hawaii. Now when I was a kid, I didn't quite understand what that meant. But now in adulthood, I've come to realize that we really are very fortunate for a lot of different reasons. One in particular is our health and well-being. While the rest of the nation deals with things related to longevity and quality of life, here in Hawaii, we are usually uh, the or amongst the top in terms of rankings for health, for wellness, for safety, and for happiness, which says a lot about our people, land, and population. But beyond the fluff, what does that mean for your everyday person? So what that really looks at is that we are living longer, healthier lives with a higher quality of life for the most part. We have a very specific then uh, issue that we deal with and that's our population being older while still retaining that higher quality of life. So what we're gonna do today is talk about the difference again between aging and getting old. Now before we get into the how, I'd like to talk a little bit about the what. So, when we talk about aging, what we're going to be thinking about really is the biochemical processes of life and the uh, slow decay of our cellular structure. Now, we see that in a couple of different ways. The loss of skin elasticity, the loss of muscle and bone mineral density, things of that nature, which just happen. Live long enough is going to happen one way or the other. On the opposite side, there's a the concept of getting old, which really is the cumulative stress that we face based upon everyday lifestyle choices that we make. And that can be things in terms of loss of balance, that can be loss of strength, and things along uh, that path and line. So what I want to talk about with that is how we can really focus our energy on where we can have the most amount of impact on that aspect of getting old. So what a lot of that is related to is different lifestyle choices that we make. Meaning that if you look at your average person today, the average person will spend maybe about five to six hours in a seated position. Now, if you look at that a little bit more closely, what that means is there are certain pathways, neural pathways that are created and then maintained and perpetuated as we go through our life. Five days a week in terms of work, for example, over the course of a 30 or 40 year career span, it's a whole lot of tightness. So, in looking at how we can best promote our own health, there are certain things that we can focus upon. First and foremost, flexibility or stretching. So what happens when we're sitting for those five or six hours is that those pathways are created and we maintain them. So the muscles tend to get incredibly tight, whether we're talking from the perspective of a central nervous system or if we're talking in terms of actually physically getting tight and knotted through the tissue itself. So simple, easy stretches, really focusing upon the hip complex, upon the shoulders, and upon the neck can do worlds of difference for your body, especially when done on a regular basis. Simple, easy tip, stand up, take a stretch break once every hour, focusing upon those same three areas, neck, shoulder, and hips. Two, cardiovascular training. So again, as we're spending our five to six hours in a seated position, whether we're watching TV, whether we're at work, in addition to that, there's also sleep. So we're looking at maybe six to eight hours on average where we're really very sedentary. So simple things to do, getting up in the morning, going for a morning walk, or going to the shopping center and parking on one side and walking all the way in. It's great, everyday activity is awesome in terms of actually promoting your own health. But more so, looking at getting in about 30 minutes a day of actual moderate to vigorous exercise will actually do a lot in terms of affecting your heart and your lungs. So get up, get out, and get active every day if possible. Three, now we're also looking at if we have one side that's a little tight, the opposite side may be a little weak. And so looking at things in terms of functional training, which really helps in terms of how we operate on the world around us. So things like squats, lunges, upper body push, upper body press exercise really helps in terms of ensuring that we're able to maintain that higher quality of life as we age. Now looking at how to best exercise these exercises in our daily life, I highly recommend starting your day with stretches 
and basic activation things. So looking at really putting your body through some mobility exercises, which we'll see later, um, looking at really getting the body prepped and primed for your day. Two, find yourself a buddy. I find that it's often much more uh, likely if you have someone to help spot you and support you. I mean, a spouse is great, friends are great, um, coworkers are awesome. Really look at, our, look at your pool of friends and family and see who's willing and able and who really wants to help themselves by promoting their own health. Three, look at finding a place where you can really just focus on your body. So joining a gym, going to a designated area at home where you really have just complete and utter focus upon your own health and well-being with exercise. Four, carve out that time. What you really need to do is, just like anything else, schedule it in your calendar. Because once it's there, the likelihood of you actually doing it goes up tremendously. And so looking at really what all of this would do for you, it'll help in terms of maintaining balance as you age. It'll help in terms of maintaining strength as we go through the, through the process of life and really decrease the amount of stress that the body keeps overall. Okay, so I want to show you a few really great stretches that you can incorporate in your everyday life, particularly focusing upon the neck, the shoulders, and the hips. Reason being that when we're in a seated position, we tend to be hunched over and everything comes in towards midline. So what we're going to focus upon with our flexibility portion is really opening everything up down the center from the chest, abs, and the hip complex itself. So first and foremost, we're going to start off with a great stretch for the neck. I want you to go ahead and have your feet firmly planted just about shoulder width apart. Roll your shoulder blades back and then what you're going to do is pull your right hand, either hand really, out towards the side with a slight rotation. Pulling yourself upright, you're going to take your left ear to your left shoulder. Left hand is going to help to facilitate that stretch by just slightly pulling down. Now not to the point of pain, but just to help to facilitate that stretch just a bit and we're holding for 20 seconds. Now as we stretch in this position, what we're doing is we're getting all the rotational muscles and the flexors of the neck to stretch out slightly. So let's hold that for another five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, great. Next, we're gonna do a little bit for the shoulders as well. So we're gonna take a staggered stance, meaning that your left foot's gonna step forward, your right foot's gonna step just slightly back, should be just about hip width apart. Left hand's gonna to come to your left hip. You're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna push up and overhead. As you do, you're gonna pull your arm as far back as you can so you're actually just outside of peripheral vision with that arm. Now, same side leg, that right leg that has stepped slightly back, you wanna activate or squeeze your right butt muscle and hold. Last but not least, we're gonna open the shoulder and the abdomen just a little bit more by pushing your palm up towards the ceiling and holding right there. That's going to let your left shoulder drop down slightly and open up that entire right hand side of the body. Now that aspect, uh, depending upon if you're right-handed or left-handed, might be a little tighter than the opposite side. So no worries, we'll get them both. Hold there for another five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now that arm is going to come down. We're going to take even a longer step forward now. Left foot forward, right foot back. We're going to take that right heel off of the ground slightly. Right butt muscle is going to be squeezing nice and tight with right leg remaining straight. Standing upright as much as we can, so upper body is going to remain perpendicular to the ground. You're going to take your right arm across the chest, grabbing just beyond your elbow onto your tricep, pulling in towards your chest, and now just rotate out and away. So you'll be holding in that position. Again, we're opening up on all the uh, abdomen muscles, everything through the trunk. Also, stretching out all of the muscles behind the back that help to stabilize that right shoulder blade. Hold it again for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, great. Centering up, we're going to get our legs out nice and wide now, wider than shoulder width apart. We're going to open up the chest and the shoulders a little bit more. We're going to be taking our fingers, interlocking behind our back, Go ahead and stretch out your arms as far down as you can as if you're pushing your wrists down towards the ground. Now as we hold in that position, we're going to be looking up towards the ceiling. As we do, we're really trying to focus upon our collarbones 
pulling up towards the ceiling as we push and press our wrists down towards the ground. Squeeze those butt muscles again to extend the hips forward, looking up, and then just hold in that position for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, great. Relaxing up, bringing the arms forward just a bit. One last stretch we're going to go through. Even wider now with our legs. Wide, well wide, past shoulder width apart. We're going to bend that right knee. We're going to push our tailbone as far back as we can, leaning slightly over to the right hand side. We're bringing majority of our weight to our right heel. Okay, again, focus upon that right heel. If you need, support your hands and your body weight with your hands upon that thigh. Let your chest drop down forward just slightly towards your knee. And then hold. We're getting now into your adductors or the inner thigh of your left leg. Holding in that position is going to open up nice and slowly as you go a little further into it. Let's hold it out for another five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly standing all the way back up and relax. Great job. Once again, this is Mike Tengon from Prime Fitness. Uh, visit me at www.realizeyourprime.com. We'll have the pictures of the different stretches and exercises there for you. So as Grandpa said, lucky we live Hawaii, definitely indeed. So let's make sure that you enjoy it every day, making choices that'll last through the course of your life.